Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss integrate Python and C++. As we know, Python script and C++ are both most used languages. The library we are going to use in this demo is the Boost Python libraries. Here on the Linux, we have three files, my function.cpp, which is C++, and my test.python, is the Python script, and the make file, which we are going to use to compile the C++ program. So the demo we are going to use, the first example, we are going to use the function in C++, which called my message function. This function will return a message from function, so the purpose of this function is uh, try to create a C++ function without uh, parameters. And the second uh, function we call it called uh, my add function, which is C++ function. Take uh, two parameters, an uh, integer A, an uh, integer B, return is A plus B, which is another integer. So function is very, very easy. We are going to test how to use a Python script to invoke these two functions. The third example we are going to use is a class. It's a very simple class, which is called my class. This class has a constructor with a string, which has a one member variable called name, and another member variable called my number. So my name and the public, which means this name be accessible from the outside of class. And this one is uh, private. So to set up and uh, get the value, we use the get number to get this uh, number of this value. And we use the set number to set this value. So this is a very, very classical, typical C++ class and C++ functions. The example of this uh, short video, we're going to write a Python script to invoke this class member function or normal functions. To be able to make a Python script to invoke or access basic C++ function and the class, we have to invoke, include a member called boost python.hpp. This is the header file. It's a user namespace boost python. This is a namespace. So most important is to use declare this is a boost underscore python underscore module. We can give a name. Just the name is my pylib. This is a library we are going to build from this C++ program. And uh, to define the python access, we have to do define. This is my message, which is my message function, and function name is my message. This is from Python code name. This is a C++ function name. So this is defined my add from Python code function name, and this is my add functions. And for the class, we have specified the class underscore which is what class is my class. This is my class. And uh, this is uh, Python code, my class. And this is the uh, constructor, take one string, which is set up the name variable of this member variable. This uh, class, the name variable is uh, public. So my class name, which is defined as read writable because this is a public member variable. So this is a private member variable which not able to access from outside. So we have to create a my class gate number, which is a gate the number from this uh, private m number from Python, we just simplify, which is called get. And uh, so to set number with my class set number, which is defined on the Python, we call the set. This part is the interface defined from Python invoke the function of all the class of this is C++. Here is the Python script. First of all, after we compile the, our C++ program as a library, we call it my PY library. So as a normal Python script, we have to import this library. It's so my message function. So we call it my PY lab dot my message, which is the function of our C++ function 
we showed just before. And uh, there's other function called my add, which is uh, so we call my py live dot my add, which is this my py my add. This function take uh, two parameters two integer which is give us three and four so the return will be seven for the class we have to instantialize our class so we have my py live dot my class that's my class and then my class constructor take a string we just put this is a hui test class constructor string and this constructor set up the name which is my class public variable name and we just print out the name, which is mi.name, because this is for the reading from the name. Name is public. And so we can reassign the message. We just print the reassign message to the name. This is, is right to the name. Then we try to print the, my name again to get again. So this test of my class public member read write access so we can use the set set our private number and then we can use the get mi dot get to get from the class number this is our python script here's the make file c plus plus need a compiling so compiling need a make file because we compiling to the library c flag which compiling flag we have to add a minor f pic and we have to include some special directory, which is user include Python 2.7, which is the library include file for the Python 2.7, and the menu i, the include, include file for the boost header files, the user local include boost. So here, let's say, so this is all the Python related header file. This is all the boost library related header files. So the, for the link, we have to use the minus shared because we, just, we will compile as a shared library, minus wl, and this xx is minus minus export dash dynamic, and this library will be dynamic for the boost, which is the boost underscore python 2.7. And we also have used the minus l python 2.7 and the library of this Python 2.7, which under this location user live Python 2.7 configure access CD. This library just because my system is this, and you can check out your environment how to build this library. So we are going to use my function dot cpp compiling using the C flag to the my func dot o rpg and my func dot o and the output is uh, my py live dot so which is the library so we save all this we compile this so here we got a program compiled here we have two terminal on our, our screen in this side we just uh, type print out our python script here is our script so we are going to run our program so here is our output of this script. So let's verify this. This output first invoke the my py lab dot my message, which is the function of my message. This function of C my message, which is the message from function, which is the message from function. So this is from the Python invoke C functions. And uh, this line output is a seven because they invoked my pylab dot my add. My add is uh, two integers, and a and b, as we know, we are going to put this. Uh, my add is three and four, and this three plus four equal seven. So this output is a seven, and uh, then the next line, which is uh, invoke my in is constructor of my class which my lab dot my class so my lab dot class is, uh, which gives the message is uh, this is hui test class constructor so this message get out the name which message is uh, this is the hui test class constructor this is the constructor and then we're going to do our program on our program we put a reassign message to the name 
and then we reprint our name again. This is a reassigned message, which is from the Python access my class, which is the name variable. Because we're able to access from outside, this is the public. M number is a private where we use two function to get that. First, we set this function, set with, so we use mi, which is my class of the instantialized is here. We set number with 17.3, and then we use get, print my mi dot get, get, which print number, and this my get, get number is 70.3. So we use this set number to set this. We use get number, return this. This is an example which we use in the Python script to access the C++ function, function without a parameter, function with parameter, and the basic class. Class has access to the public member, and the class have used the method to set the number, get number, to access the private number. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback.